good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with an update on my Minecraft 5x5 cube projects. This one, we're going to 3D print, so let's get cracking. All right, everybody, so if you remember right, I had somebody ask about this, so I made the 5x5 cube. We used the sweet 5mm nudge to put the pieces in place, but if you group them, I'll zoom in on this tiny one because I always print small, you can see the cubes disappear. So I was talking with one of my favorite creators, Jack, about a strategy we could use to make these so they had texture. Friends, check it out. This is our bow. Once again, still created with 5x5 cubes. But friends, when you print it out, it has texture and actually looks like cubes. Let me zoom in so you can see it just a little closer. There you have it, friends. A quick look zoomed in at our new Minecraft bow with texture. So friends, let me show you the simple little mod that makes this a possibility. Friends, this is my original bow project. Once again, I'll show you if we group that, it is totally flat and it'll be blocky when it prints, but you can't really tell it's a Minecraft project. So here's what we did, and you did have to do this on every piece, which you had to put two for the radius, and you had to put one for the steps. And all that did was texture that piece. Now my friends at Tinkercad, if you're listening out there, oh my gosh, if we could apply that to a group, that would be fantastic. But you either need to build it this way from the get-go, or go one at a time, doing two, enter, one enter to make it happen so this is why jack and i use the minecraft bow is because it had a hundred pieces instead of our other ones that have sometimes four thousand pieces the other thing you do have to make sure and i'm going to fit view so you can see this is that the parts actually touch so if you look at the 3d printed bow i may have added an extra piece in here because initially there was a little nugget where it wasn't touching these were all fine but along the string it didn't work out but as you can see, once we modded that, it printed out pretty darn sweet. This is actually scaling the design down a little bit because I wanted it to print a little faster. But the system does work, and I think when painted, it would look absolutely fantastic. Friends, I do have a quick update on the Minecraft projects. If you scroll down on my channel, check it out. We have got a brand new Tinkercad Minecraft playlist, so you'll be able to find all of them in one easy spot. Just a heads up too, there will be a new Minecraft creature being posted today. Of course, I do also want to remind you that if you visit hlmodtech.com, I have got the Tinkercad tab with the Minecraft Mayhem. All of the Minecraft series is listed here. And of course, if you want to reach out, you can use this messaging tool to reach out to me almost instantly. All right, everybody, so thank you so much for watching, and thank you, Jack, for helping me create all these cool things. And, of course, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.